what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so a couple weeks ago i asked you guys to send me your build so that i can feature them in a video and we received about 26 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna split this up into two videos just so i can give each car enough attention and not make the video super long so today we're gonna do 13 and yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So first off, we have Julian's car. So he has a 2013 Impreza. He's on some BC Racing Extreme Lows, custom camber blades. He has the front load control arms, rear upper control arms. Has all of the alignment mods you need. He's running Work Rezax 18x10, negative 23, negative uh, 15 camber front, negative 18 rear. So that is uh, pretty crazy, oh yeah. Yeah, I, I love this car. I've seen this car on Instagram a lot and always wondered how he got all that camber. So that is very impressive, man. Uh, I love the headlights. I mean, I'm always a fan of the retro fit look. I like the yellow contrast in there. Looks really nice. Yeah, I got some Federals on there. Very nice stretch. He also has a 1989 Sylvia S13. So SR20 swapped, big turbo pushing 350 wheel all right all right wow look at that love the two-tone reminds me of initial d <laughs> uh love the headlights as well always love this style sylvia let's see oh yeah sr20 big turbo very very nice so yeah definitely big props to you man i'm not sure how you run that much camber and drive around but that is very cool up next we have Orion's car, Instagram at static.orion. So he has a newer Impreza wagon, looks like. Got some wheels, got some coilovers. Uh, let's see if we attach the mod list. Yeah, BC Racing coilovers, nameless exhaust, uh, 225.40 tires, AO Dan DSO7. So yeah, not too many mods on this one, but I think it's pretty well done. I love the ride height you got going on. These tail lights, I like the tint you did. Uh, normally, I don't like these tail lights that much, but I think with the tint, it definitely makes a big difference. And I see you have the nameless axle back as well. Uh, yeah, very cool. Up next, we have Adam's car. This guy is awesome. I've met up with him a couple times. He's bought a few of my parts, and I've definitely seen his car come a long way. So, uh, shout out to you, man. Thanks for always supporting the channel and buying my old parts. And yeah, definitely best of luck with your build. So here is a brief mod list of his. He has a Icon Morse Sports front lip, sport grille, with the horn side skirt, got aftermarket tail lights, which I've seen, they're very nice. Um, yeah, I'll definitely throw this on the screen for you guys to see. He also has WX seats, steering wheel, uh, and a couple other interior bits. Has a custom dual exhaust and short ram intake so at shomosan84 on instagram so let's check out his car here so looks like some xxr wheels got some coil over them they're very nice always like the ride height where you know it's low enough so that it doesn't look weird at all um this color is really cool too i think it's called deep cherry pearl um it's always a very interesting color to see oh yeah the tail lights are sick I mean, normally I'm not a fan of the full blacked out look, but I think this works really well with his paint color. Um, diffuser like mine, F1 light as well. And I love the Katana style sticker on the bottom. Very nice. There's my old grill, guys. So this was my old sport mesh grill that was cracked on the side, but Adam managed to clean it up a bit and definitely looks really nice on this car. And the fact that it's dark green metallic against his paint color is actually not too terrible. Uh, there's the eBay headlights I always see. Now, normally I'm not a big fan of these, but I think they definitely have grown on me. Uh, of course, I do prefer my retrofit C-Light position, but this is also a big upgrade to the car. Because as you guys know, the stock headlights are uh, not the best looking. So, yeah, overall, very nice car. Up next, we have Cody. Rex underscore Sentai on Instagram. He has a 2012 hatchback. Uh, let's see. NVIDIA N1, Cobb access port, Cobb intake, um, custom splitter, custom canards, fender flares, uh, Kansei KNPs, 18 by 10 and a half plus 12, uh, BC coilovers again. So let's check this out. 
Okay, okay. I like this a lot. I love the, the front setup you got going on here with the canards and the splitter. Definitely goes really well with this hatch style and the flares. Nice and clean. Got the molding on there. And I think these are, they kind of look like the HT Auto flares, but I know you said they were custom, so very cool. The Kansas look good on there against the silver. Oh, I love the headlights as well. It has that C light style like you see on the newer cars. Dude, this thing is sick. Coming to the rear, okay, I like the tail lights here because a lot of people just do the red overlay on top because these lights are chrome, but I like this tinted look here. Kind of gives the car a nice monochromatic theme and the wheels are nice. I'm actually thinking about these for the Impreza. Uh, you know, when I transfer the TEs over to the 86, but uh, kind of depends where I'm going with that. Um, yeah, I love the side splitters, I like that crazy looking winglet thing. I always wanted that on my hatchback as well. Uh, yeah, the spoiler extension is very interesting. If I can, I want to zoom in, but yeah, I like this right here. It's uh, something I always wanted to retrofit on my car, but never really got around to it. But it looks definitely really nice on the GR style hatchback. So big props to you. Oh yeah, so, yeah. This is this is definitely a car done right. I. I definitely enjoy this a lot. Reminds me of Artai's car a lot. Um, it's his black STI hatch, but yeah, this thing's sick. Get that. Very well done. Big props. Up next, we have Alan's car. AM coder intake, ESR 18 by 10 and a half. Uh, got some flares on there, custom cat back. All right, let's check this out. All right, so I see you have the front splitter there going on. Journey with Spirit sticker, I love it. Um, yeah, I actually like these flares a lot because uh, when people put fender flares on their cars, uh, they don't get the wheels that go with it. So in this case, you definitely did that. Uh, definitely looks like really nice fitment. So you blacked out the headlights, uh, got the sport grill. Definitely makes a big difference to these cars. Oh yeah, I love the roof rack also. I used to have one of mine, but uh, I took that off because I was a ricer and never used it. Um, yeah, I love how these wheels fit on there. Nice and tucked, you know, definitely a very desirable look. I do like this headlight style. I know it's just blacked out all the chrome and you left the reflector. Let me know how you see out of that because I'm sure it's fine, but it looks pretty dark. Uh, here's a more shot of the wheel. Yeah, I love how it's tucked under the flare just a little bit. It's like enough to really set it off. Well, one more. It looks like he has some custom tail lights, the Colin LEDs as well. Definitely a very popular option on these cars, no doubt. Up next, we have Brendan's car Instagram. Let's see if you attached it at BMR Trek on Instagram. So his mods include BFG tires to 1575, so these are really tall. Uh, method 502s we got rally on the mud flaps and a couple other small things and yeah here we go so a nice lifted cross trek build and this is a little out of focus so maybe we've got a better photo yeah right here so definitely love these tail lights i mean they're the stock lights with the overlays but that's what i used to have and uh yeah so it's always a good look with that it looks like it has some led reflectors as well so that's awesome but yeah, this is definitely a route I would like to go someday. Uh, maybe not with my particular car, but it would be nice to have a uh, lifted, lifted car of sorts. And, oh yeah, this is awesome. Imagine the ground clearance on that. I mean, you can literally do anything you want. <laughs> my cars are a little too low to do much off-roading, but this is definitely very nice. Definitely needs a wing. I mean, I think any hatchback style car needs a wing, but that's just me. But yeah, very nice build. Um, next we have Ian's car at ian.alex33, 2012 Impreza Sport Hatchback. So you guys know that I have a lot of FB20 followers. So most of these cars are Imprezas, which is definitely appreciated. Um, AM quarter intake, got the parent pulley cover, a bunch of other parent bits, spider headlights, okay. Uh, got the wing, got all the stuff, R400. So let's check this out. All right, I love this teal you got going on because here's what sets this apart. You painted everything else teal, so there's not a hint of the stock yellow color, 
which is something I always want to do to my car. So big props. You did the dipstick too, which is uh, props for attention to detail there. Got the eBay headlights as well. Let's see. <laughs> All right. So R for 100 then. That looks crazy. Uh, is that the stock one? Or stock is that the one for the hatchback or the sedan because this thing is sticking out like crazy uh definitely not my taste but i mean to each their own of course um i do like these tinted lights uh, definitely sets off the car a lot uh, only thing is uh <laughs> this thing sticks out like crazy but hey man if you like it then that's all good I like the bumper cut as always another shot the am intake looks nice in there for sure i'm probably gonna sell mine so uh if anyone's interested let me know Got the tie down as well. I definitely need a new one to my car because mine's all corroded and everything. But yes, yeah, very nice. I like the theme you got going on. Always a fan of that. And uh, yeah, overall, very nice build. Up next, we have Eric's car uh, at ECA Hill 200, uh, 2016 Impreza hatch. So let's see, has a custom lip, got some wheels on there, sport extension, black headliner, and black STI trim. Okay. Uh, Soon to be bagged. All right, let's check this out. Oh yeah, vivid sparkle white metallic half wrap. So let's check that out. Okay, yeah, I've seen this car a couple times. So this is, uh, I love this wrap right here. I've always wanted to do a crazy livery on one of my cars, but this is actually pretty cool. All right, got the Spoiler King extension there. I see you. Yeah, I love these subtle arrow you got as well. I see some side skirt extensions right under the OEM side skirt, but definitely that wrap. Um, it's very, very distinct. Uh, let me know if that's a full wrap too. I mean, or is it a half wrap? Uh, it kind of might be a half wrap because the front is white. But uh, yeah. Only thing I am not a fan of are the caliper covers. I mean, that's just me. Uh, but you can do whatever you want, of course. Uh, headlights look good on there. Got the sport grill as well. I think the sport grill is definitely one of the first aesthetic mods you guys should do if you have this car uh, next to the front lip because the OEM stuff just just, just does not look as good. Um, okay, got the Colin LEDs as well. Uh, I love the wing extension you got on there. Uh, definitely sets it apart for sure since you know the STI wing on this car is discontinued. It's pretty much impossible to get. Uh, but this looks definitely really good. Let's see what else we got. Hopefully that's the only photos. Love the F1 light. Definitely another good mod to have. So yeah, very nice. Only thing I would do probably, and I know you said this already. Yeah, the bags would definitely set it off for sure. Get rid of some of that wheel gap there and this car will snap next indefinitely. So very nice. Up next we have a Jonathan's car. Quick mod list. He has some matte black MB Crux wheels. Got some uh, small aesthetic mods here. Um, carbon canards, okay. Or carbon wrap canards. Um, LED headlight conversion. Let's check this out. Rally S style built on a college student budget while in school. Yeah, I feel you right there, man. I was just there not too long ago. Um, okay, so pretty standard stuff, I guess. Uh, looks like he definitely goes skiing it looks like so definitely using this car for its true purpose there's the wheels there okay yeah wheels definitely make a difference on this car uh love the black and the silver got the rear end here okay see the tail lights i think would look better with the tints especially on your silver but of course you know aesthetic stuff is up to you that is just what i do um but otherwise yeah very cool I would debadge the PZ badge at least though, man, come on. <laughs> Everyone knows this car is a partial zero emissions vehicle, but definitely don't need to advertise it. <laughs> that was like the first thing I took off of mine. Otherwise, uh, very nice, just, you know, getting started. So it's, uh, it's a work in progress. Um, so definitely good luck to you, man. Hopefully everything goes well with the rest of your build journey. Up next, we have Hugo, my guy. This guy, he has a YouTube channel as well with FB20 content. He actually does bigger things than me. He's actually turboing his car. So definitely go check it out. Um, he has a ton of mods on this, like a lot of white line stuff. He's sponsored ISC, 
Um, Inferno Fab headers like me. Got the oil catch can, Crawford blocks. He has a lot of stuff, guys. He also has the A Car Guys Garage Arrow, um, specifically made for the cross track in Impreza. So definitely very nice. Retrofitted lights, sport grill, a lot of parent stuff. And he's doing the Avo Turbo Kit that you can watch on his channel. So yeah, big shout out to you, man. You always support me. I like to support you as well. So yeah, let's check out your car. You know, I've seen it a thousand times. All right. So this is an example of a car done right for sure. It's got the right fitment. Got some nice wheels on there. Got the retrofitted lights, um, sport grill. Everything just ties in together. Uh, I love the hood. Um, custom hood scoop on his stock hood that was molded on. So that's very cool. Love the exhaust here. You know, a lot of people go crazy with the tips on these cars. And this is definitely something that's very subtle. I think you can use a rear diffuser of some sort. I'm sure you're working on it. Um, taillights are nice. I peeped the Katana style die cut in the back. So uh, thank you so much. Now here's the thing. I've seen these carbon hatch pieces a lot. And I've always decided like maybe I should get those. I think it adds a nice subtle touch to the rear. Um, definitely looks nice against the dark gray metallic. It kind of blends in, but when you really look at it, it's there. So that's always nice. Uh, you'll be okay, sticker. I see you, man. Thank you for rocking my stuff on your car. So this roller is nice. I think this is when he had his other wheels on. Uh, love the retrofitted lights. This is pretty much my setup in terms of how it looks. Everything's black except the sea light. So yeah, I'm actually looking to redo my retrofit. So definitely stay tuned for that. But, oh yes, this is a prime example of a clean, properly done cross track. So, up next, the man himself, Alex Frank, at AlexTheKidFrank on Instagram. So, yeah, this is a good friend of mine. He's from around here like I am. He's the owner of Don't Suck HQ. They work on a lot of old Subaru wagons and do crazy stuff like rear-wheel drive swaps and turbo swaps. So, uh... Yeah, definitely a way above my level. Let's see, stock EJ22E of WX10 millimeter oil pump, five speed swap, rear wheel drive conversion, WX stage two clutch, uh, TDO4 turbo, and a bunch of other stuff. So, uh, yeah, I've been in this car and it's definitely quick. Makes 275 wheel. Okay, that's, uh, that's crazy. All right, man, you got one photo for me? Come on. Come on. Gotta, gotta do better than that. Just kidding. Got some videos here I'll put on the screen. drive postal legacy um definitely one of my favorite cars ever it's like i mean it's right hand drive because it was a postal car so like it's it's pretty much jdm so yeah always love this car big shout out to you oh we got some more mods on here we've got wx4 pot brakes okay plug don't suck at jp if you don't mind well just did that and he has a hood dump as well which you can kind of see here this that boy right there so uh, one day I hope to pour orange juice down there when you're not looking and see the result at the end but yeah very nice build always love this car so thank you for submitting that up next and finally the last build of this entire video we have Brittany T22 so I'm gonna read her email for you guys my name is Brittany Tran my IG is Brittany T22 and I drive a gray 2011 Toyota Camry I'm a lowest subscriber to your channel and I would like your opinion on my ride. In terms of a brief mod list, I ran into some bushes a few years ago and it scratched the coat on the side view mirror. I plan on waxing it out. The battery has been replaced at one point. The car would never start and I would have to call my dad to help me get it jumped every time I needed the car. Thank you for your time, huge fan. Have a great week. Well, thank you for submitting your car, Brittany, because uh, this is probably the best car out of this entire list. P.S. I don't. I realize I don't have any images of my car, so I attached below some accurate depictions of what it looks like. Okay. Oh yes, the 
the Camry, the old reliable right here. It kind of reminds me of my car because it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like in real life. So, yeah, shout out to you. <laughs> Big, big, big moves coming your way. Flee. You should buy my car. I mean, geez, you should be, you know, a ricer like me. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. I'm in the office, per se, where, you know, all the magic happens. would like to announce that, you know, Series 3 is live on the site. Got some new printed stickers. Here's one. Katana style in the uh, Super Street Red. Um, yeah, that's where I got the color swatch from. But definitely have a lot of new stickers coming. Got this KS die cut here. Looks amazing on the rear windows. But yeah, feel free to check that out on the site. As always, guys, follow me on Instagram at will.kgfx. Check out Katana Style at katana.style on Instagram and katanastyle.com. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.